On the left-hand side of your screen, uh, Derek Stahl is standing by as we've seen more of those flash bombs and more of that tear gas be uh, going off. Derek, there it is. Yeah, right now they're, they're moving in. You can see it live happening right here on 3TV and CBS 5 News. We've got the only vantage point up here. You can actually see this. You can actually see them firing pepper spray at protesters who refuse to leave. They're fire, that's pepper spray right there. They want to get these people out. Boy, this is incredible. Uh, all right. So these are folks, the police have given these folks several orders to leave. You can see they're now throwing things. They're throwing water bottles. They're throwing water bottles at officers. Yeah, as we're watching, People Derek, are, I mean, you can see the crowd screaming. backing up, but still facing uh, that line of officers in, in defiance. Yeah, you just saw one of the protesters go up there and actually yeah, kick a can of that. Out yeah, here that are kicking oh. the pepper spray back. And a guy just got shot with a rubber bullet. I got that guy that you're looking at right now just got hit with what I think is with a rubber bullet. He looks hurt. So, yeah, the officers are not, uh, you know, not messing around at all. If there's anybody out here on the streets, go home. Yeah, unfortunately, Derek, they, so uh, unfortunately, can they now, can't they, hear they us. They continue to march north. And they're in it right now, yeah, but no again, okay, they're firing what a again. scene, what a scene this is. Um, just a total face-off right now happening in the streets of Phoenix, of downtown Phoenix, about 30 minutes after President Trump ended his, his rallying speech in downtown Phoenix. Um, it did not take long for the violence to escalate. Phoenix police telling us that there were a few protesters out there that started throwing rocks and bottles at them. That initiated officers to then start firing these pepper bullets at the crowd, and uh, and now it has led to this. It's uh, quite a scene, uh, very dramatic pictures here. Uh, surprising to see, but uh, to a lot of us, not surprising. Uh, this is what the Phoenix police had prepared for. It's what a lot of people had anticipated might happen. Uh, the temperature right now after what happened in Charlottesville 10 days ago, very hot, very high. Phoenix Mayor Greg Stanton making a plea to the president not to come right now. Now is not the time to campaign.